Tyrion. This is a love reading for you, and t these are entertaining tarot card messages to see what is going on in your love life. Take what applies to you, use your discernment. Thanks for tuning in. All of your support is appreciated. So, I feel like taking a look at what they are thinking about you or how they are feeling about you. And this could be like the person that you are with or the person that you left or the person that is to come in your life. All right. So let's see. Angels, spirits, guides, ancestors. What are they currently thinking and feeling about you? Now, the magician card flipped over first. This person is always thinking about you. They're first in your energy. They're dominant and present in your energy. They are really into you. They want to be chosen first. They're always tuned into you, and they are. They 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 feel like you put a spell on them, or they just they're really into you. They and this person they want you to know, and they're not afraid to let you know that. That is how they feel about you. A magician. All right. For some of you, this is a karmic person from your past that is feeling bad that you split up with them. Yeah. Whoa. The devil card. The devil card flipped over next. Wow. And for some of you, this is a person that wants to make magic with you. They they are thinking of all the things that they have in mind that they want to do. The per, all the performances, the tricks that they have up their sleeve. You know what I'm saying? Um, that they want to um, express to you. Right? And they're putting you in that picture. They're framing you in that as that person you know that they want to do certain things with okay and i'm also getting there is a past there's a not there's a past person that like an ex that did that did hexes because they were jealous and obsessive and possessive and they feel kind of hurt and angry and dark like they do they they feel like they would tr they would like let me see i'm not sure if i'm telling the truth tower card like, let's see if this is there a karmic person that did spells is there a karmic ex of cancer wow so the love so we have <laughs> for real yeah someone just someone wanted you to get back something that you did to them in the first place someone because we have the strength card twin flame card and a card that says you are a bad you know what full of life this person they feel like i hear potential like they wanted to marry you they feel like you are the one that got away and they feel like you did not choose them so which person do you want to focus upon person a who is let's see person a is going to be the possessive one that is obsessed with you that we just spoke about that do spells and stuff like that to come back or to get you back or because they're obsessed and they're controlling and possessive and you may have separated from this person and they don't want to see you with anyone else all right they want you to have no choice but to choose them okay this one now who is into different things and they want to live out certain experiences with you so our fantasies with you they want to put you like put you as in a role in their life you are the one that they're imagining doing all these di different kinds of things with we could talk more about this one because this one seems to be the one that we know the least about in essence i just know <laughs> i just know the, the things that they're thinking what they want to do with you and all kind of ways that they want to look seven and ones and this person is they are really into it it's like you drive them crazy with how they think and feel for you all right so this could be um, um a capricorn energy or an aries the chariot the fool card now this second one here they don't want to really because they may be in their ego because they this one too is controlling that is why they like the things that they like and that is why they're imagining certain you know being in certain situations with you and having certain wonderful experiences with you and this one well also loves you and they want you to know that they love you they want you to see them as someone that loves you that is someone that is worthy someone that wants to show up 
and be there for you so this one is also upset that it seems like you're not they're really mad and they're jealous but this is not like an evil toxic one it's just how they deal with their emotions when it comes to you it feels like intoxication in um infatuation it's like you're driving someone not you you know but like the energy of you you're driving this person like Arr! they don't know what to do with the energy um so they're wishing that you would see them as this for a want energy a beautiful person chosen the one to be in your life they want they wish that you would feel the same or at least express that you feel the same because it's like they, they're like one one side they're burning now they need that plug they need to connect with you to be able to express all that they've been thinking about dreaming about and desiring so it's like it's really the energy is driving someone crazy right now so i don't know what this person is gonna do with that energy i just know right now they're it's like a burning passion inside where they just wish that you would see them as that other half as worthy as that being in your life but they're also feeling like they cannot control you and they cannot really make you see them as that okay so yeah i'm hearing that you need to choose this person or that is what they want you to feel like so there's there was a third person that we mentioned person somehow i feel like was the very first one we were speaking about but somehow i feel like i've lost connection with them so this could be someone that i just like they were trying to get your attention yeah this and like the three of swords energy they could have been a little bit malicious i hear mar like maybe um yeah but they just they were trying to like i hear sacrifice the star card and the nine of swords they were trying to do something to fish you in six of swords and seven of cups but i hear mal like malpractice the devil card it just just didn't work because what they were doing it feels like it was corrupt death card and now the truth is coming out about this person and the, the hand that they had in whatever was going on and they, feel they they can't complete what they were doing you know so just someone's hands were like messed up dirty into something involvement in your life in some way and something about your chakra someone was trying to intermingle or interfere with your energy there someone was doing you like bad so let's see who is this person but you end up protected or t protecting yourself from this person overpowering them who is this person i hear shadow or shalom this was a rival but they got close to you right they were like shadowing you could be like a stalker and um this person want they were competing with you also but it just something just backfired with this person here you know going to back to your ancestors yeah it backfired i know this person is has lost you and is seeing you reconnect or seeing you connect to someone else in some way now they're dealing with their own drama and chaos because they're left in it and it's not easy right so yeah five of swords you stood up for yourself you spoke some truth and you moved on and then something backfired and you moved into love self-loving and healing so someone is just feeling sad but the second person who wants to have you in all kinds of ways they seem to just be waiting for you to like finish up with the past wrap it up get someone is this person is running out of patience i'm telling you waiting for you they're really thinking about you they want to write to you they want to call you speak to you they want to write books they want to they want to write books about you it's like a long distance connection or someone that they're they're trying to give you time but they miss you rejection and they may be feeling rejected by you in some way or even hopeless thinking that you have forgotten about them but they have never stopped thinking about you impatience but they keep waiting and waiting and your their heart beats for for you 
in many ways they're kind of learning how to deal with their energy now in some way shape or form and this person is realizing now that it's something about having control over their emotions or containing their energy yeah expansion this person is feeling like being with you are being in this long distance connection with you or having this separation has taught them a lot about themselves their perseverance and ev and so much more so this person is like more calm and chill and i do have like hope that you will meet up with the one that is right for you so that's what's going on in your love energy for now thanks for tuning in beautiful soul i'll catch you in the next one all is well and all is within you thanks for your loving kindness and support on the journey take care bye